Hello my dear friends, today I'm gonna show you one of the best plugins for the Revit on the market. Thank you for the roots for this plugin, we are starting the our overview. The roots have a lot of the plugins, but today we will see only the one plugin. This is most needed for the any architects to just print your PDF file. So uh, let's go to the Revit Addons. The link where is the Deroots website you will find below this video. Let's go to the Revit Addons and you will switch to the another web page. And here you will find the Pro Sheets. This is plugins help us to print PDF files and many other formats files. So after that, just go to detail. Once you will uh, click on detail, you will switch to the another web page and here just click on the free download. Here you should write just your name, just email and company and after you will submit, you will get a link for free. This is plugin for free, all the plugins from the Deroots for free and it always will be free. After you finish your downloading, just you will get this file. Just double click on that, after that uh, Windows will asking uh, to get access of for this file, just say yes and you will get this window pop-up. You just will accept the agreement and after that install. So nothing else, you no need to choose any folder where you should install it, you no need to choose any specific parameter, just install it and just wait. After a few seconds you will get few programs, you will get the DRoots and you will get also the program calling the PDF24. So PDF24 actually helping you to export PDF uh, without any Adobe uh, programs, uh, so uh, it will be totally free. So it's finished as you can see, this is successfully installed and after that finish. Before we will switch to the Revit, let's see what is that PDF24. So PDF24 give it to you really nice features like you can create PDF, you can uh, even edit PDF, you can online convert it, you can merge it, you can split it. So this is totally free and that's why the roots using this type of the PDF24 to manipulate with your future PDF the sheets. So now you understand what is that PDF24, you now know what is that, don't don't delete it because this is helping uh, the, the roots plugin creating your PDF files from the Revit and we are switching now to the Revit. When you will try open your Revit, you will get this pop-up menu. So now the Revit asking you, do you want to download this plugin always or do not load it? So you should say always load and it will be always load inside to your Revit. Now we are inside in Revit and as you can see, here is my project, I already did some project for you, we will print it out this project. So where is the roots, you will ask me. Uh, the roots you will find here under the uh, ribbon menu, you will find the new tab, it's calling the roots, just uh, open it and you will see here the pro sheets. So let's open the press sheets and let's see what we have uh, like uh, just fast overview, what we have inside of this program. It's taking the time to open the roots, the roots and you will get this pop-up menu. So we have here the three uh, main tabs. First, the section, selection tabs. So it means where you will select some views or uh, some of your sheets to which you want to print. The second one, this is uh, format. Let's choose one of that. Now, this is format. You can print it out uh, by one. You can print PDF, DWG, DNG, DVF and uh, many, many other type of the files. Once you just will select it, for example, like this. And after that, you're able to print everything. But we are interesting now only PDF. Each of that you can, I mean, each of that format you can um, set up manually and set up uh, independently. So let's say PDF. So this is everything the same uh, as you can see, for example, from the standard uh, PDF print, but we will see uh, all the settings later on. After that, create. Creation, this is where you will send your file, where it will be loaded and here you can export your PDF. So uh, by the by also the new things you have like for example profile, you can make your own profile and you can save your 
settings just by your profile. So we will start from the uh, printing our uh, drawing sheets and we will print it out right now. So uh, let's see, I already have the sum of use, I mean the drawing sheets which I want to print. So it's A302, A304, A305 and ID. Uh, 03 so let's find it here you can find it for example manually of course you can find it manually like 301 302 so it's here so what you can see here the name of your uh, the drawing sheets you have the revision even the size and uh, your orientation also you can find for example i want to find this a305 you can find by searching engine just a304 right so, and as you can see, we are really fast can find everything. So let's check it. Now delete. And we already have two of that, as you can see. We can find 305, but we are no, this is roof plan is here. And one more different size. As you can see, all the drawing, uh, drawing sheet size is same. RGD, RGD, RGD. But this is different. That's why I want to include it. ID03. And as you can see, this is NCB, so it's a different uh, format size, and we will choose all them. You can uh, find it by the search engine, you can use, for example, uh, switching from the sheets to the views, for example, you want to print your uh, view, not your sheets, it's up to you. You can sort it by all views, area plan, roof plan, floor plan, selection, so, as you can see here, uh, we don't have, like, uh, a lot of them. Um, a lot of the function but we have a lot of the things how we can find our sh drawing sheets and of course you can use by set but we don't have any set right now so we can create it let's create the new set i want to create new profile let's create the new profile and we will say this is profile we'll call like uh, print print revision one and we will copy the current settings create it I will say, let's save it here. Okay, so now once we will use the print revision one, we will always we will always uh, get the same settings what we will do right now. Actually, it's not finished on this uh, on this view. We have also one really nice feature what the roots did for you guys. Here it's calling the custom drawing number, and here this is small button. Let's edit it. So you will get this is one new pop-up menu. You will get it. For example, I want to include like um, I want to include let's say the num uh, like project name and project number. We get two parameters: field separator. We are using this one. You can use for example that the other thing like as you as you want just choose any different symbol let's say okay and we get single family uh, dwelling and the number of the project this is really helping you not creating the new pro new parameter in the project or you can create it is here just custom field you can write everything what you want like blah, blah, blah. like let's say like this and you can add it and let's add it and as you can see here is the custom one Let's switch to the other tab, this is calling the formats, and as you already know, we will print PDF. So let's check the PDF, let's choose the PDF, and here is pretty standard, uh, pretty standard settings. I not will spend a lot of the time for that, so what I will do, I wanna place my uh, drawing uh, by center, and I wanna zoom it on the 100%, because when you will fit it, it will be a bit scaled on your page. So I don't wanna be scaled, I wanna make it um, exactly what I need, if it's 1 to 200, I wanna get 1 to 200, not 202, 203, exactly 200. Okay, so zoom it uh, on the 100%, after that you can ch choose vector processing or the raster processing, so difference between vector and raster, you, I think you know. The vector you can zoom out as much as you can, raster you cannot uh, zoom it because this is just a picture. I will use the raster because it's more faster and my client doesn't, uh, doesn't care right now to get a vector. So the uh, quality of the raster, let's say this is, will be medium because this is only the, uh, for me, right, right now I want to print only for me, but if you will making the presentation, of course use the presentation 
color and you of course here you can use the colors as you want you can use color grayscale or black line so this is really nice features and after that here the standard uh, options i will leave as it is and the main thing create separate files or combine multiply views and sheets i will be honest with you sometimes combine multiply view working not so st stable sometimes it's uh, really crushing so the roots please uh, do something with the combined multiply views but anyway i can create the separate files it's also not bad way And the last tab, this is really most simplest one uh, by, by create. So what we have here, the exporting rules, exporting by folder. So let's choose our folder. Here is already I have the folder. Let's use it. Let's say OK. And now we change the folder. After that, we have like um, the bottom uh, save all files uh, in the same folder location or split it by format. So as you know, I'm printing right now only PDF file. I will leave save all files in the same folder. But if you're printing like pdf dwg like jpeg so use the save by split formats so after that you just need to use what the type of the sheets you want to print i want to print all as you can see and just click on the create and wait it now we get like cannot be used stumble nail and that print settings in the session print settings will be used it's okay because this uh it's my wrong i didn't save uh, correctly uh, my uh, my printing for settings so just skip it skip it one by one so we will fix it up later on and after that we finish as you can see successfully completed everything let's see what we get as you can see here is the my drawings what i already print on the pdf let's check it out how it looks like let's open up by acrobat let's open up so here we are as you can see everything all right but don't forget this is raster this is not a vector because because when you will scroll uh, scroll zoom out and zoom in you will see the kind of uh, shades so this is mean it's raster anyway this is enough to represent your client because this is exactly format what you want so this one drawing the second one drawing this is actually this uh, three drawings the same format and the last one it's different format as you remember let's open up the uh, last one and as you can see everything all right it's not over uh, it's not going to over the boundary uh, the roots automatically will understand uh, your formats all your drawings and helping you to manage everything so once you will finish that of course you can save all the settings i will save it save as i want to resave it yes i want to resave it and all the settings now we save it as we want Now let's go back to the formats and I wanna now split, uh, change I mean uh, my creation separate files to combined files, why not, we will try it, is it, is it should be working or no right now. So let's go to creation, let's choose all our files and let's create it. So it's success successful, let's go to the uh, test and here is our file, this is our combined file as you can see here is 4 pages, it's working uh, and it's combined. So this is really cool because you no need to do it manually and as you can see you're not spending really much time. And last thing what I will show you right now, let's say I wanna print PDF, I wanna combine it and I wanna DWG. Uh, not with any some special setups we will export as it is let's go by creation so uh, and I will choose everything as you can see and as you can see now it's duplicate PDF DWG PDF DWG and uh, on and on and after that I'll just create it and as you can see you really saving the time so it's done as you can see everything su successful and as you can see here is my DWG here is my PDF and this is really cool and as you can see here is my union file and here is my DWG file. As a conclusion, I can say this is one of the best program on the market, uh, which allow you print from the Revit to the PDF or any different formats. Uh, I can say this is one of the best user interface what I have seen uh, for the uh, add-ins in Revit. Also, you're not spending really time to understand where, for example, here the some button to split your or your drawing files. Try it. 
and leave the comment below this video what you think about the roots and maybe you have some ideas for the roots and they will read it don't worry they will read it your all your comments and they will try make this program more best than it's right now so thank you guys and see you next time